Hello, fellow survivors. Thanks, Astrid. We are back here in Road to 500 Days on our way to Blackrock to find that car battery. Still on the lookout for that. And we are here now in Keepers Pla Plus Pass, the transition zone between Pleasant Valley and Blackrock. And it's a pretty large transition zone. Quite a lot of wolves here in Keepers Pass South. So this is Keepers Pass South. It's probably the largest one. Quite a lot of stuff here to cover. And uh, Keepers Pass North is a bit more linear. And we're going to have to go through it. And seeing as we're here, we might as well take advantage and explore a little bit and try and map the area as well as best as we can. And then we'll just keep moving towards Blackrock, really. We got quite a lot of supplies, so we're good. We can make more as well. And uh, let's do some mapping if we can. Let's see what the weather's like first. Yeah, pretty bad weather, but that's all right. <clears throat> we're going to go over here. And map over here. I think over here there's maple. So we're going to see how that goes. I want to do a bit more mapping in this area. I got 18 charcoal. That's fine. I still smell so wolves can still come for me. But that's all right. Uh, this is, I believe, the other side of the tunnel to Milton Town. So when you go to Milton, there's a collapsed tunnel that Astrid tried to get through and she crawled through it pretty much. That's here. This is basically the other side of that. Uh, but you can't get there, obviously. Uh, let's just map this. It doesn't matter if I get a little bit cold. That's fine. Yeah. Wait. So cold. Now we're here. I think there's a maple sapling and a deer carcass here, if memory serves. I think that's here. Uh, okay, it's a birch sapling, my mistake. And the deer carcass, yeah. And we're cold, but I'm still gonna map this. And I, I can take a little bit of cold damage, that's fine. There we are. We got a full blown blizzard now, suddenly, instead. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna wait that out. I think I'll take these saplings with me. Oh, here's the maple. Totally there was maple here. Not gonna map this one though. Uh, I think I'll take this with me to Black Rock. They're not really gonna have much purpose right here. Uh, they could stay here and cure, of course, but I think I'll just bring it with me. Let's wait out this blizzard, I think. Harvest this for the stick. There we are. Go here and we'll harvest the stick. And I think we'll just pass an hour, past three hours till this stops. Did it stop? No, let me sleep two hours. Still a blizzard? I can navigate this area in a blizzard, but it's more that I would like to map it and also, you know, so you can see what's happening. Especially in an area like this that isn't very frequently visited. I've only been here like twice, I think, in my videos. So uh, it's not very common to go here. All right. Yeah, that's better. Much better. So let's map a few more things here. For some reason, the trailer here isn't mapped, or at least it doesn't show up. That's it, thank you. All right. And now we have uh, sunshine, that's very nice. Uh, we should map over here too. It's very fiddly sometimes the mapping, like you have to be exactly in the right spot. I don't think there's any Polaroids in this region. I don't think so. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's map it. So here's uh, the lower part. That sapling there too, I think it is. 
And there's a few cars along the way. And there's a fishing hut as well. I think that might be a bit further up. Yeah. Backpack over here. Look how much that map. That was a lot. Backpack over there. Okay. Well, let's check it out. Uh, let's grab this. So we're ready. Uh, or is it underneath us, the backpack? Maybe underneath us. Uh, says it's up here though, like up up there, really? Is there a backpack up here? I can't feel my feet. Hmm. I don't see any backpack here. So there's a bridge, there's that. Is it just this oh is it this backpack? Oh okay. It's kinda of like I've already picked this up, haven't I? Yeah, it's just on the map here, it says it's over there, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit deceptive, that. That's like, am I imagining things or what, you know? Have I eaten from the insane route that drives reason prisoner? <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Uh, well, oh, there's the fishing hut. There it is, yeah. So this is, uh, really neat. That uh, this actually, this transition zone actually has a fishing hut. It's really cool. So you can you can come here and fish. You can, of course, with the new fishing system. You can also, um, uh, you can just crack a hole in the ice and fish that way. After they changed it, might make a little fire down here and map some more. Yeah, but it's a neat, neat little place. This, uh, this area. It's a whole little mini region in and of itself. It's probably the biggest transition region that I can think of. Or at least it has the most out of all the transition region things. Let's uh, make a little fire. I can bring torches with us too. How cold is it? Not that cold. So, uh, let's just make a fire here. Sticks. Warm up a bit. We're gonna maybe heat up some teas or something. Fish if you want to, but I don't Long think there's fire. any point in doing that. Uh, get some lantern oil if I want to. I think I'd rather take advantage of this weather and keep moving, but let's warm up as well. So you can put like one piece of coal on here, for example. And then we could just, uh, how much water? I, I actually would like some more water, so... Uh, let's make like a litre of water. Yeah, fishing hole. And, uh, let's loot this stuff. Nothing there. Anything over here? I don't think so. Is just scenery, cattails. Yeah, I think so. Nice though. Okay, it's barely cold now, which is great. Very, very nice. Let's wait for this water. There we are. Perfect. And let's just grab some torches. How many torches have we got? We got a few. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's just carry this. So now it's barely cold at all. Uh, minus four degrees. So let's just carry this torch and protect ourselves from the wolves. I do need to check all the uh, cars. I think there's a few cars up here. I kind of took a shortcut down here. So I'm in the lower region now. But I need to get back up. There should be a, at least a couple more wolves here. They tend to roam around near the end of the map. So there should be more wolves. I'm still carrying a decent amount of meat, so yeah. They should follow me around. There's another birch sapling there. I have bad memories of this place because of this... the Nagoa run I did. <laughs> and this... There's the wolf. I will probably kill these wolves. 
just because they are in the way. I do want to map this area more. Let's see if I can go up here. There's a cave also we need to go to. I think there's two caves actually. The one over there, I can't remember exactly. We'll figure that out. Okay. Can I make a fire here? That would be funny. Ah, it's too thin. But we can make one like here. Let's use the torch. Just to not get too cold while I map. And I can make some more water while I'm at it. sticks on here. I'll we'll make another litre of water here. Right. Yeah. Wolf is bugging out there. Definitely gonna get rid of this wolf. I think there's another wolf though. I think it's more than just one. Grab my arrow. We could cook this wolf, but uh, I don't need to, I don't think. Let's check these cars if we're really, really lucky. There's a car battery here. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I don't think so though. There's like a roadblock. Go look in here. Big collapsed, uh, collapsed uh, lorry. Car battery, car battery. There's the other wolf. I knew there were two. Yeah. Makes it easy. Let's just, just, just kill them. No car battery. I can't feel my hands. Oh yeah, this is called like uh, I think it's called landslide or something. Yeah, it's a lorry tipped over. It's the same lorry that's in Milton. It's a pretty big area. This uh, this transition zone. A lot of stuff. Look at all these mushrooms. Loads and loads of mushrooms. Hey, maple, look at that. All this map here, I think. Is that ptarmigans? Are you getting bored of me saying, hey, is that ptarmigans? Because I say that a lot. <laughs> so much rice Let's go back to the fire, grab the water and all that. So much rice is insane. Uh, it's not very cold. Let's grab a stone. I don't have a stone. I used it. Two stones are good. One for distraction or throwing and one as reserve. Bit too cold. Uh, let's just. Yeah, we're we doing here. Let's, just, let's put some sticks on here. Carrying a bunch of sticks around. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. All right, let's eat this. And have a drink too. Okay, we're warming up barely. Uh, I'm tempted to grab a couple of these. Reishi teas, uh, mushrooms. Uh, I'll make another liter, I think. Yeah. Just to make a couple more teas. They, they warm up a lot, the Reishi teas. 
And there's so much of them. I don't mind running because I have so much energy. Let's grab four of these. Let's check this other car. So it's, it's a neat little region. I think this is probably the biggest transition region in the game. Uh, at least if you combine south and north. Uh, maybe a ravine is bigger. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, so we have another car here. This one's not mapped, is it? No, it's not. So, I'll have to do that. Nothing there. Anything in the back seat? Nope. Very rarely anything in the back seat, but it does happen. Nope. 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 Okay, hood. Battery, battery, battery. Yes! All right. <laughs> okay, fellow survivors, change your plans. We're not going to Blackrock after all, because we found our dang darn it battery. Yeah. All right, sweet. Before we do that, though, I'm going to um, just continue surveying this region a bit. And then we'll take it back. And then we have it. I want to spend a little bit of time in this region. Uh, just to map it a bit more. I think all the walls are dead now. It should still be visible for me. Like, I should be able to map still. Let's just take a little shortcut here. Oh, and I've been so excited to open up a hood. That was the last car. That was the last car before Blackrock. Uh, I think. Uh, it might be other ones, but I don't think so. That's great. <clears throat> I'm tempted to harvest the wolves uh, for their uh, hides. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Oh, that doesn't get mapped, okay. We're gonna wait to pick up this car battery because it's really big. We have time to grab the hides of these wolves. Because then I can um, take those back to the farm. And they can be a... Um, I guess I want to make the... The wolf coat. For when I actually do go to Blackrock. I'm just looking. Uh, let's do this. Make another liter. Prepare some of these. Do that again. Oh, it's getting dark out here. I'm look for shelter. Imagine I'll glitch this out to some rubbish. Seven minutes. Let's also do this. For the other one. Grab those. Water. We got enough water now, but we can still make another liter if we want to. Okay, now we're warm. I'm gonna grab the hides of these wolves. I wasn't going to. Because in Blackrock there's so many wolves anyway. Am I sheltered here? No. <laughs> Worth a try. Uh, but because we're going black back to Blackrock, I might as well bring them. No, we don't need the rest of it. I wouldn't mind uh, mapping the rest of this too. Aurora, we have an Aurora. I'm not sure I can carry much more. We got uh, saplings also to take back to uh, to the base now, which is great. It's gonna get a bit cold there, but that's fine. Okay, we have an Aurora. I think we can map 
spin Aurora, can we? I think we can. I'm not oh, sure about that. Cold. Let's just try. I'm not worried about being out in the row now, though, because, um... Uh, because all the wolves are dead. Yeah, you can. Okay, nice. Yeah, alright. Uh, we're just gonna let this die out, I think. But there should be... There's a sapling over there, and I think there's something over here. Uh, it is normally worth going into Keeper's Path North as well. Because in Keeper's Path North there is a flare gun. The toe. Okay. Let's map that too then. Okay, it's called the toe. This one here. But it doesn't have a map on... No, it doesn't have a name on the map. Okay. I'm just going to take cold damage here. I'm, I'm already done in this region, so... Uh, but yeah, there is... Um, um, in, in, in Keeper's Palace North, there is a, uh, a cave that has a, uh, a flare gun in it. I'm just going to, while I'm here, map some more stuff, because I've cleared all the wolves. I'm pretty safe now. I'll go get the car battery. Unless the car battery can get ruined in the wind. <laughs> I hope it can't. That would be annoying. Oh my god, imagine. There we are. Yeah, so this this is like the passage. Does this lead to the north part? I can't remember exactly how that worked. Now the north part is by a cave. Pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, it's the cave. It's the cave itself. But this leads to keep us past north. This this cave right here. I'm just gonna take the cold damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much the whole region. I would like to take this car battery with me though. So we're going to eat a uh, rose or a peach pie here. And also one of these. Just to make carrying a little bit easier. We more or less mapped everything now. We're gonna head back to the trailer, drop a few things, and pick up the battery after. So we can actually carry it. Okay, sapling. So this is a nice little region, this one. Yeah, like three or four wolves in here. Not the worst. Uh, fishing hut. A trailer, so there's one building, basically. There's a uh, transition K, which is also indoors. Uh, how about like four or five cars? This deer, but the deer isn't really around much. I think you can find one deer. Load of plants, load of quite a few cattails, and uh, there's rabbits as well. Okay, so we're too um, heavy. To pick up the um, car battery right now. Let me just have a quick look at the condition of it. Uh, I could maybe bring it, but I think it's going to be too heavy. Still 100% condition. Oh, I can actually carry it without being too heavy. Yeah, it's not not too bad. I think I'm just going to take this journey. Yeah, let's just do it. Bring it all back. And then we'll figure out exactly... This is where the Trava... Uh, if I had a sled now, this would definitely be easier. Put the car battery in the sled. Drag it back to Pleasant Valley. It would be perfect. 
but no. <laughs> uh, I don't have it. The maple saplings are still curing. We'll see how that goes. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint that we're not actually going to go to Blackrock after all. We're going to go to Blackrock another time. I would like to do Signal Void first. We're basically using Signal Void as an excuse to go to certain regions in certain order. Uh, and then setting up bases there. So, now we have done Pleasant Valley. I might go get the Firmus before we do Pleasant Valley, of course. So, we're going to do the Signal Void now. I don't think we'll do it this night. We'll do it uh, the next night. Then uh, after that, we need to repair the one in Milton. And of course, we need to find a car battery for that too. And you never know, we might have to go back to Blackrock after all. Because we can't find this damn car battery. It is possible, because I don't think Milton has a car battery. But we'll see. Uh, you tend to find car batteries in Bleak Inlet though. So, uh, quite possible. But I don't remember seeing one there. Not that I, not that I can think of anyway. Well, anyway, uh, we'll find a battery for, for Milton. In any case, um, we're going to do, uh, after we've done Pleasant Valley, we'll head to Milton, repair that one, probably set up a little base there and at the farm, and then we'll do Hushru Valley as well. Uh, Hushru Valley is a fantastic region. We've kind of already been there, though. And then after we've done all this stuff, we're going to go back to Forsaken Airfield to finish Single Void. And after we've done that, we're probably going to head into Zone of Contamination, to be honest. And uh, do Buried Echoes and just master that region. Probably be there for a while. And after we've done that, then we're going to go and do some more stuff in the regions we haven't been to uh, and set up bases properly. We're going to do some more stuff in Ash Canyon, find Spelunker's Lantern, that sort of thing. We're going to do some more stuff in Timworth Mountain. Uh, we're still on the lookout for those wool socks. Still need those wool socks. <laughs> and of course we need to go to actual Blackrock. We haven't been to Blackrock. And there is an argument for going to Blackrock before going to Sonic Contamination. It depends how scary are the wolves. Uh, the wolves there are more dangerous than regular wolves. But if your plan is to just shoot them in the face, then it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, we could take this and, you know, put it at a single town now, but we won't really get much use out of it. I think I'd rather repair the tower and then use that as an excuse to walk around, find a bunker, and then walk around finding signal, uh, like the cache, and then make my way to Misty Falls and uh, grab the firmest there. All right, so here we are. So let's see here. Uh, we can drop this. Sorry, these. There's another wolf, of course. I forgot to harvest that one, mm, but that's okay. Uh, is there anything else to drop? I don't think so. Car battery is so heavy. I like, guess ridiculous how heavy it is. And we need to figure out how to do that. Okay. Uh, eat this. Have a drink. We have too much water. We can leave some water here. We don't need all this water. Uh, let's just sleep. Eight hours, I think it will be. All right, and I think we should be able to get this back without too many issues, to be fair. Especially between the pies and all that stuff. All right, let's just go have a look outside. It's probably very cold, is the only thing. Yeah, but we'll make that uh, work. Hmm. We could also wait maybe like uh, a little bit for it to be slightly warmer. So you, you wait an hour, I think. Yeah. Cabin fee risk, all right, yeah, sure. And grab 
these. Let's just save the game here. Alright, we are back. Alright. Okay, I saved it. Uh, let's go. So I'm really heavy. This is when we really need the Trevar. I wonder actually, because I'm so slow. I wonder if something I can leave behind here. I mean, if, if it's slow, we're slow. It's not that long of a journey, to be fair. Let me just see. Can I, is there anything I can just leave behind here that I don't really need? Coal. Uh, not really, is the thing. <laughs> Not really. I guess we could leave some of these torches behind. How about that? We we'll drop these torches for future use. Saves a little bit. That's pretty much it, to be honest. Uh, let's eat one of these. Show me don't stack. All right. We can move marginally faster now. Oh, I know. We could also maybe just for future use, we could drop uh, some meat because. Uh, we got food where we came from. And we're probably going to collect more as well. So let's just drop. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. And then when I come here next time, because I will come here again. Then uh, we got some uh, food over there. Isn't that nice? Yeah, look at this now. Now we're fast. Very fast. Sweet. What time of day is it? It's morning. Okay. I think we'll head up. To, oh, how cold is it? Because I'm curious if I should grab this pelt. Oh no, it's uh, destroyed completely. Okay. And now we get around to harvest, the harvesting, mapping over there. It is kind of funny and a bit annoying that I actually went into this area looking for a car battery and I checked all but two cars and one of those two cars had a had a battery in it and so the reason I didn't check all of them was because um, it had been a while since I was there and I couldn't remember exactly how many cars there were I knew there were some cars around the trailer like at least three so the idea was to really check those cars and then I knew there were some more further down the road but then I, you kind of enter this mentality of like, oh, let's just check those ones too. Oh, and then just check these ones. And then these ones. And you, before you know it, you're in Black Rock. So the idea was to just pop in here and grab a few um, uh, cars. But of course, uh, there were actually just was it two left or three. I think it was two. And uh, one of them had a car battery. But that's all hindsight, of course. <clears throat> and now we're not going to Black Rock after all. We will go to Blackrock eventually, though, for sure, because we want the uh, noisemaker recipe. Or, not recipe, blueprint, rather. And, um, we also sh we want to get the vest. And just generally explore it. There is an argument for going to Blackrock before we head back to Forsaken Airfield, because... When I complete Signal Void, so I'm going to finish the radio tower here in Pleasant Valley. And after I've done that, we're more or less done with Pleasant Valley. Not exactly. We're going to do... Uh, after we've done the Signal Void here, we're going to build the sled, the Trava, and we're going to transport all our stuff from the barn back to the farm. More or less all of it anyway. Um... So we'll, we'll stay here a little bit longer. But then we're kind of done and we're heading to uh, Mountain Town to do the next signal void there. So then after we've done these two parts, the signal void takes us back to Forsaken Airfield for the final bunker. So that would be the... So then that's, a, that's when we head back to Forsaken Airfield. However, if we go back to Forsaken Airfield, we might as well also go to the Zone of Contamination, the new area that was added with DLC Part 4, Buried Echoes. 
And we might as well do Buried Echoes as well. The, um, the new tail that's there. Then the quite, but then, uh, see, <laughs> you, this is what you do when you plan far ahead like this. Sometimes those pla the plans don't work out, like now we're going to go to Blackrock, didn't need it in the end, but... You're thinking like, well, if I'm going to Forsaken Airfield, I might as well go to a Zone of Contamination. And if I go to Zone of Contamination, and I'm thinking, do I need the Noisemaker or the Ballistics Vest? I think the answer is generally no. We don't really need them. Uh, because we'll be very well armed. Um, and there aren't actually that many wolves in Zone of Contamination. They're mostly around the mine. And then a few here and there. And if you just shoot them in the face, they act like regular wolves. And the noise make is just an additional defense, which we don't really need. Especially because the flare gun works against them too. And we'll be armored, so... Potentially we'll see, but potentially I'll replace uh, the, mo the bear coat with moose cloak and maybe a wolf coat just for lighter travel as a possibility. And then that will give us a bit more protection as well. We'll be colder, but that's okay. But we can uh, we have more protection and we can travel further and it'll be lighter. So that's an that's an option. And between that and the weapons and everything, I think we'll be okay in some contamination. So you see, like often, especially during walking times like this, I'm kind of planning what to do next. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do single void here. Uh, we're also going to do the tra build the travaje and finish kind of setting up the main base. And when we do single void here, we're also going to go get the Firmus. Might as well go around the area with the radio, see if we find some supply cache, get the Firmus at the same time. And um, then after that, we head back to base. And from there, we resu resupply ourselves, I guess. Head to Milton, start repairing the signal tower there. And then uh, do some bit of mil miltoning, do some bit of Hushtru Valleying. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how much Hushtru Valley will do, because we've already been there, but there's a lot more to explore on it. But I'm not sure how much we'll stay there, we'll see. And then after that, Forsaken Airfield, and then Sonar Contamination, and then from there we'll see. So that's kind of like the long plan. But there's still lots more things to do. I want to find Splunker's Lantern, and open some crates, I want to properly map and explore all of the regions and there's quite a few missing still and uh um there's things you want to revisit as well so we're gonna we're in it for the long haul and we'll, we'll see if we can do everything in 500 days <laughs> we'll see okay i'm gonna go inside first quickly <clears throat> now when we repair this tower we will actually trigger an aurora of course, it's daytime, so it's not going to be here now. But we'll be here for this evening. Let's sleep for one hour. And then we'll get an Aurora, and then we'll try and find the bunker. I have a general idea of where it is. And uh, we'll see if we find some supply cache along the way as well. Okay, let's repair this thing. It's been a long uh, haul to repair this thing because of this car battery, you know. It's supposed to be here, the car battery, but... Oh, wow, you can really see the sleeves there. Oh, took the gloves off, though. <laughs> cool. That's a nice little detail. All right. You fixed it. All right, it's working now. Now I can use this. Of course, we just need the Aurora. Yeah, now it says this. Investigate signal. All right. Now we're very light also, look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna see, okay. We got cabin fear risk, but that's okay, because when we do the um, uh, single void, we'll be outdoors. Let's head to the farm. And then we got some time. I think I want to be fully rested. Can I map down here, actually? 
Oh, you know, I could have done, I forgot, but we could check that ledge then. We'll do that another time. Um, and we fully rested for the for the night because we're going to be outside for quite a bit. We should get an aurora. I might grab these rabbits because uh, I'd like to have some more rabbit pelts to repair rabbit things, and we also need a deer just for a deer hide. I think there's one. Oh, no, there. So I stole his sniper for the for the YOLO, right? <laughs> How about this? Nah. <laughs> I can use fire hard and arrows if you want to. That it sure does make it easier with these arrows. It's so cold. Uh, can I house this wolf? I wonder. Is that deer still around? Because if it is, I might want to try and get it. I don't see it, so I don't think it's around. I'm gonna get these rabbits though. We got one rabbit here, we'll grab that one. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, it broke and it didn't kill him. Oh, how about that? I've never seen a rabbit survive. Uh... Okay, well, a um, arrow before. Are you a tough one? Quickly check this um, this wolf carcass here that I killed earlier. Mm. No deer. All right, the bow. <laughs> we'll take that back now. I kind of want this, uh, but let's wait because uh, let's go back inside first because I'm really cold. Let's uh, let's drop our bow here. Air in the corner. Yeah, we're going to drop some stuff. How's our saplings doing? Oh, almost cured. So we can make the travoy next time. Uh, we got the bear pelt there. Let's drop some wolf hides here. Drop some more saplings here. And some more saplings here. Also, let's drop these bunnies. Let's just sleep for an hour. Warm up, and then I think I'm gonna go out in the cold and grab that hide. Let's grab this. It's cold, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Can I do it by hand? No, it has to be. Yeah. 
Do I even get cold? I like to avoid Did being as cold as possible cold? because uh, I need. Point? I want my health for when we go out. Ah, there he is. Now the wolfie. I think we might kill this wolf too. Two wolfies. Well, let's clear them out because uh, for single void it's good to have the area clear. Get the other one too. Where'd you go? There he is. Ah. Oh. They're too scared. Too scared. There you go. Okay. I can wait. Yeah, right back. Let me drop uh, the pelt here. And then I'm actually going to just go straight back out. This might seem a bit weird that I went back in to drop that and come back out, but I'll explain in a second <laughs> why I'm doing this. Uh, where is the wolf? Wolfie! Freezing. We're just here. There you are. There you go. Thank you. Come, come, come. Come this way, Mr. Wolf. can actually make a fire here, I think. Let's just see. But the reason I went in there to save it and then go back out was not for any tactical reason. <laughs> oh. Oh. Making a, making a fire keeps the wolf at bay. I could hear him. I didn't actually expect, but that's alright. You can't actually cancel making a fire, so uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's a bit risky at times. I think that's probably all the wolves. Now, the reason I went in there to save it had nothing to do with um, any tactical advantage or backups or anything like that. It was quite literally <laughs> that the baby woke up. <laughs> uh, that's it. Sometimes you'll see me Hey, why can't I interact with this? Ah, oh, that's why. Sometimes you'll see me do that. You'll see me... You'll see me, um, like, just save the game or something like that. When uh, it doesn't really seem necessary. And that's quite literally because maybe I'm playing, baby's asleep, and uh, baby's waking up while I'm playing. And then I have to just quickly... Um, Go on, take care of that. But yeah, so if you see these strange things like that, like entering a building kind of randomly or disengaging like that, or suddenly running to a save point, then that's what's happening. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep doing this, I think. Uh, I'm going to harvest all these. At least most of it. Not all of it, because I don't want to miss this Aurora. But I do want the hides. The wolf coat. My main thing that I want. I'm dry. Cook that. This one too. Uh, bit of a hitbox bug here. Yeah. Now oh, come on. Oh, it's buggy. Yeah, no, it's the same. Alright. I just want this. Uh, he 
use the knife. The rest of the food, uh, I would like it, but it's uh, I might harvest it later. Can you eat trees? Because oh. of um, because of the uh, aurora that's coming. Okay, uh, I don't have anything else it cooks. I think it's just just make water really, yeah. Make one liter instead. Let's eat this. Let's get the last wolf pelt as well. And cook this. All right. Cook that. There we go. And then it's this guy. Give me your pelt. Now normally I would harvest the pelts with the hand because the hand, using hand, takes us just as long as the knife. But I have to make that first incision, so it's doing it that way. The wind change, I think it did. Is it too windy? No, not really. Eight minutes, we might as well harvest something. Go oh, one, one kilo, why not? I don't mind these new animations, but uh, having to repeat Grabbing a kilo or whatever is a little bit much sometimes. Okay. And then I kind of want to sleep before this aurora hits in. So I'm going to leave this fire here, I think. Let's grab some of these. And we'll harvest the rest of this meat later. If we can. Oh, I didn't realize I had one more on me. 49 minutes, sure. Let's cook it. That's probably enough. Have a second stone. I have less health than I would have liked, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to go and prepare for single void a little bit here. I think this will probably cook. Yeah, I think so. All right, so we got our hides because uh, I might use these either before black rock or something else. I just want to keep them here. We also need to harvest this stuff, so let me make a little note. Uh, uh, this we do, so uh, do single line, and then like harvest rabbits and wolves. Firmus. Alright, let's see. Uh, let me do a little bit of inventory here. Almost time for the aurora. I mean, normally the aurora can set in at any point. Like, it could set in early night, it can set in late night, it can be lasting for one hour, or it can vary a lot. But for this, it should trigger pretty early. Okay. Uh, put all of these away. We don't need those. We don't need two of these either. This will carry, yes. Uh, I think we're good actually, yeah. Alright, then we're gonna go sleep for a little bit. So we're rested for this Aurora. We're gonna go out for quite a bit. We do have the pies and stuff too though, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, let's have a drink. We'll sleep like two hours or something like that, I think. Yeah. I don't think I'm on a roar just yet. One more out. No noise or anything yet, but have a look outside. Should be in a roar because I repaired it, so should be on this night, if not right now, but it should be on this night for sure. There we go, one. We got an Aurora. Nice. Okay, then we can do... 
Signal of light. All right. Before we do that, though, my dear fellow survivors, I'm actually going to call this episode here uh, before I head out into the Aurora. And uh, so this episode is a bit shorter than the others. And the reason why is because I think we're going to spend quite a bit of time out there. And I think I'm going to do it in one go. So in this episode, we surprisingly found the battery, the missing battery. And that was a great surprise, but really, really cool. Uh, so that allowed us to do this faster than anticipated. I still need to go to Blackrock at some point, but it doesn't have to be right now. But now we got the signal tower is uh, it's fixed. We got the Aurora running. We were fairly rested. Night's young and we got our radio. So it's time to go find the second bunker and we'll do some cache scanning as well. I don't know where all the caches are, but I'm not too bothered about it because the caches don't have much loot on Interloper. But I'm going to make my way back to the Misty Falls picnic uh, site to get the firmer. So we'll be walking out in the Aurora for a little while before heading back here. So I'm going to do that in the next episode because that's probably going to take a little while and it'll be dangerous too because you will have all the Aurora Wolves out. So we got to be arrested for that. I wish I had a bit more health, but it is what it is. So with that, I'll see you next time, survivors. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for the Single Void continuation out in the Aurora. See you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.